On this week's episode, we are going to check out some of the biggest blunders that, well, you've made. I don't know if I've made them. We've made. Uh, we'll have a secret <laughs> ingredient that's probably in your cabinets right now. It could be in jeopardy. And Do you know what this is? Hmm. We'll find out. Coming up. From the low country of South Carolina, this is the barbecue capital of the USA. It's uh, Bill West. I happen to be the founder of BarbecueTricks.com, and I'm along with Jack Weybor. He is the founder of CarolinaPitmasters.com, as well as three-time South Carolina state champion, knows his stuff, barbecue. And we're going to talk uh, about a couple different things. We're going to take a, a, a viewer email question, which we love to get yours, Bill at BarbecueTricks.com or carolinapitmasters at gmail.com. <laughs> and uh, we're also going to find out about what that thing is right there. This thing right here, Bill. You want to talk about it now? No. Nope. nope. All I'm right. going to think about this a little bit more, see if I can figure it out. <laughs> uh, let's jump right into uh, uh, some barbecue uh, letters. Uh, a little quick letter from, uh, let's see. They write, Jack and Bill, Hey, guys, just burned up a $15 rack of ribs. Oh. And wondered... What's been your biggest barbecue blunders? Any mess ups in your path to championship? Signed Peter and Evanston. Peter, I got it. I'm not champion, but that'd be you. I've that'd got a me. good I've got a good blunder though. <laughs> we were at a contest one time in Columbia, South Carolina at the fairgrounds cooking and raising money for Carolina children's home. We were cooking a whole hog and uh, Jethro and I had been uh, going through the process of imbibing in the adult beverages that we normally imbibe in when we do these things. That's and probably involved with most, with most yeah, of the wonders it was, competitions. It was time to flip the hog, and originally we had named her some name like Tiffany or something like that. But anyway, it was time to flip the hog, and we decided, you know, it was about 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, whatever it was, and we had a piece of fence that we used. And lo and behold, we went ahead and tried to flip her, and while we were pulling it off and giving it a flip, she slid right out from between the two pieces of fences and landed right on the ground. So there we were, all of us standing there amazed and wondering exactly what we were going to do and looking at it until one of us actually got the bright idea that it might be a good idea to try to pick it up and put it back on the grill again. We picked it up, dusted it off, washed it off with a couple of the uh, beers that we had laying around and immediately renamed her Sandy and ended up coming in third place in the contest. Third place. Third little place. secret ingredient. Dropped there. her on the ground and still came in third place. I, like had, that. I did uh, a Boston butt one day on, on my grill and I was doing yard work, so... I was doing a gas grill, and pretty much every time I've done a whole hog, it's caught a blaze. You know, the two times <laughs> I've done it, it's been a blaze, and we've had to figure out a way to put it out. But every time now in the whole hog in competition, I put it out safely. Well, I was doing the Boston butt, and I was doing some weed be gone at the same time, and we would go back and check on the on the Boston butt and and, and spray it with a water bottle pss, 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 every once in a while. Go, and then I looked back, and I could see flames shooting out the holes of the home grill. And you know, brought it up and started spraying like crazy, getting that whole fire out. Oh no! Of course, I was. We'd be weird. gone. Ouch! We'd be gone. Did you eat Still it anyway? tasted pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> and no one got sick. <laughs> Uh, but just Amazing. a couple of barbecue blunders. Be careful out there when <clears> you're cooking. You've got to pay attention, mainly with fire. Absolutely, live fire is nothing to mess around with. Uh, our website of the week is this is on your suggestion, Chowhound.com. Chowhound. And I looked at it. Actually, see if I can do this in this. Pretty slick little website. It's actually chow.com, and they've won a bunch of different awards. Chow Han Community, uh, for those who live to eat, check it out. Um, actually, they've got a contest now. They're giving away an iPad. So, <laughs> so, we, we've gone into big technology, gang. Not only do we have cameras and lights and bloggies and cheap beer, but we also have an iPod, iPad, iPad nowadays. So that They're is really away cool. They're giving away at chowhound.com. They got beer. They got uh, all sorts of stuff. So, check out Chowhound.com. Yeah, Chowhound's uh, uh, Chow.com is a pretty cool little place. Uh, it breaks things up regionally, and you sign up for your region, and you can see what's going on southeast, northeast, so on and so forth. Our grilling gadget this week is uh, something hot on the market. Is our segment, and I figured out what this is. 
What is it, Bill? It is a LED grill light. It is. Congratulations, Bill. You win the prize today. You get to have Bill West beer. Is there batteries in it? Yes, there are batteries already in it. It's got a little switch up here that you turn it on. It has 24, count them all, 24 LEDs. What a great thing. I don't want to shine it at the camera because I'm sure nobody will like that. Um, but uh, you clamp it on. Let me turn it off here. You clamp it on your grill right down here. And, you know, the good thing about this, uh, South Carolina, South Carolina, you pretty much grill year-round. And uh, when the weather, when the uh, daylight savings time is not in effect, um, it gets dark here, you know, like everywhere else, 6, 6.30, 7 o'clock at night. So with a this kind of gadget right here, you can shine it on the meat and... Uh, Actually, this is really well made. It is. As far as, you know, it's heavy duty. Yeah. It's not going to... You have to be careful that you could burn the heck out of yourself. <clears throat> and, you know, LED is a good thing. I think the package told me it was, you know, some ungodly like 35,000 hours on three batteries or something silly like that. What a nice. great little gizmo. So, and how many times have you been sitting over the grill in the middle of the night where it's late and you can't see anything? Uh, What's, uh, often. Who makes that thing? <laughs> Uh, this is made by the designers, Edge. We'll get the website link up there. I don't know if it has a website link. Today's hot on the market gadget, 24 LED multi-use utility. What, light. Actually, also for, for shop, I guess, too. What a cool little gizmo. I Heavy duty. Say. Heavy duty. Got it as a gift, uh, another gift idea for the wives out there to give your grilling husbands. It's wonderful stuff. Our secret ingredient this week. I saw this on the news, and uh, I thought this would be a good secret ingredient. It is? Ketchup. But do you call it ketchup, or do you call it catsup? Well, the Lord only knows. But you pretty say much tomato. everybody uses it. One thing that caught my attention, and, I mean, you use this, how much stuff What, you what brand that? you got going on here? Hunts. I got Hunts, go. but I've always ketchup. been ketchup. a Heinz fan, and I use Heinz, and I read somewhere... I saw it on TV that Heinz is changing the recipe. Uh-oh. Hate here when a cha recipe change comes around. But, I mean, how, how can you do that? Heinz has got to be it's probably, decades old. It's probably the number one ketchup sold. I wouldn't doubt do the research. We'd probably figure that out. How long have you seen those little packets? Even those little packets have Forever. been around for No doubt about it. Decades old, and they're changing the salt content because they're trying to lower the sodium, apparently, oh, and, of course. The, and the sugar. So how do they do that without changing the taste? One, one never knows. Maybe they have a salt substitute they're going to put in. I don't know. We have to do the... It'd be an interesting little thing. Uh, maybe uh, Heinz can send us the uh, the the answer. Uh, definitely get on the Facebook page or hit us at uh, formerly known as meatheads.com. I'm concerned. I am concerned. Uh, it'll be a big concern, especially for the guys that use uh, ketchup as a base in their sauces. It'll be a big deal. Mm -hmm. um, you may, It's going to change a lot of a lot of the ways that we cook. Because just ketchup is a pretty big ingredient for a yep. lot of different... Home it sure is. Uh, ketchup is a condiment. Uh, during the Reagan years, they made it a fruit, so uh, it's supposed to be good for you, too. Just ask Jamie Oliver. <laughs> he was that chef. Uh, let's see. Okay, so our secret ingredient is ketchup. Ketchup or catsup, whatever way you want to talk about it. And uh, what else do we got? Where else are you headed? Where are you cooking next? Uh, we're going to be in uh, Tryon, North Carolina, uh, at the big show up there at, the, at Harmon Field. Um, and we'll be uh, doing a KCBS contest up there, cooking all four categories. Boston butt, ribs, brisket, and uh, chicken. So, uh, you know, when we're going to be worried about the, uh, the the change in salt content of our sauces and so on and so forth. I don't think I'm going to be cooking at it, but I'm going to do the Banjo BQ in Augusta. Oh, yeah. At least check things out and see how things are going. That'll be a good show there, too. And uh, a quick hello. We A couple episodes ago, we looked at Grill Charms. Grill Charms, yeah. You remember that? I do. Leslie. Cool little product. Leslie with Grill Charms, who was featured on... The NBC show Shark Tank lives right here in the low country of South Carolina. So she's going to send us some. That would be wonderful. She said they skipped the, we were asking why there's no well. W. Yeah, because we figured it was turnover. They had to make a decision on, on how many charms they have in a packet. And they said, you know, if anybody wants the well done, they're, they're messed up anyway. So we'll just <laughs> skip that pretty much. So, Did she tell you that straight up? Pretty much. Ah, right? uh, you gotta like that. We'll get some other ones. Grillcharms.com. We love them. Grill Charms. Good stuff. That's it for now. Uh, we'll catch you next time on the show that's yet to be named. Please send us your suggestions. Reach out to me, Bill, at barbecuetricks.com or Carolina Pitmasters at, at gmail.com. Gmail I'm gonna get this yet. Till next week. Hug your mama. Hug your mama. See ya.